CPU is the main heart of any computer system. If your budget is very tight and you are going to make any mid-range gaming PC where you are not going to invest money on any graphics card, then APU from AMD which is integrated graphic processor is going to be best option for you. In this video, I am going to give you quick unboxing and overview of AMD Ryzen 5 3400G APU and also will say is this the best option for you in 2021 or not. Hit the red subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notification of future videos. Also you can join our channel membership starting at 59 rupees per month where you can get exclusive shoutouts and 159 rupees you will get exclusive live stream videos. If you want to make websites for your business or if you want to promote your local offline business, log on to ovephonia.somtips.com now and order your project. I have bought it from Amazon and first order it was from the seller name is TPS Technologies. So it is basically from Bengaluru but uh, experience was very bad with the seller. Here you can see the seller sent me used product though it was Amazon fulfillment product but still you can see it was totally used product and the manufacturing date is 2019 and it was 2020 almost end so yeah it is used product and here you can see how it was tampered with the box and from the bottom it was open it was very much clear that it was used and inside the box the heat sink was used and dust was there and there were scratches in the cpu cooling fan so i have to return it to the amazon get the refund again i have ordered it from the seller which is apario retail private limited then it was non-use product and it was a good product here you can see the first product which is used here you can see the price if you ask me the price was around 14,200 rupees above it 1400 rupees discount we will get as i bought it on the great indian sale and the bank offer was there 10 percent discount so 1400 rupees will be minus from 14,200 rupees so it was the new product which i bought from aperio detail second product which came first product i returned so here you can see it was slightly tempered i think it is not tempered with user it is tempered by seller or the importer which is in the custom department they have tempered this kind of way so anyway here you can see it was 21,000 mrp return and it was totally new product made in china and september it was imported and as i video was making on october so yeah it is totally new product and non-tempered product here you can see no evidence of used product so i can say yeah this is not used and i was happy in the second chance here you can see the invoice and in the top there will be some qr code do scan with your mobile and let's just see the serial number which is came in this processor is valid or not and after checking it is being sure that you will get three years of warranty let me talk about the processor speed and cores and threads it is 4 code 8 thread processor 3.7 base clock up to 4.2 you can overclock so yeah here you can see made in china is written there amd ryzen 5 total model number is 3400g g means integrated graphics or apu so you will get vega 11 which is 1500 megahertz graphics or integrated graphics so yeah this is you can say mid range for the mid range integrated graphics best choice and that this price range if your total pc build cost very much tight and capped at 30000 rupees i must go with this one 14000 rupees and within next 5 or 6 months again we can expect around 2000 rupees price drop because the next variant of amd ryzen 5 is very soon coming out so here you can see which you will get in the box installation guide and some leaflet and here it is the main thing our processor or apu so there will be some serial number do check the serial number written here is matching with your invoice pdf copy and also the box so apart from the processor some ryzen 5 logo will be given there vega 11 graphics logo will be given there which you can stick with your cabinet another important thing this is a cpu cooling fan and here you can see in the bottom there is no dust is there and it is totally new product unused product so here you can see it was totally clean no dust is there as now so it was also very good and 
do not even try to overclock with this stock cooler or which is came with the processor or from the manufacturer of amd do not try to overclock even 100 megahertz it will just heat it up rapidly so do not try it use the default thing 3.7 it will give you optimal very good performance under this price range so now i am going to show you how you can install the stock cooler and the processor in your motherboard i am going to use msi b450m pro vdh max motherboard and here you can see first of all there will be some notch or arrow icon is there here my arrow icon is right side of the max heatsink or here you can see in the top right corner right now so there will be another notch or arrow icon in your processor in the front or in the back side here you can see in the qr code side there is some notch icon or arrow icon given there so you have to install on according to the arrow icon you have to match the arrow icon in your motherboard with the your arrow icon in your processor so in the back side of processor there is the processor teeth is given there and here you can see there is a notch inside here so here you can see top right corner in your screen right now there is not so it is a very basically gold plated and here you can see do not even touch any single teeth of the processor because it will da just damage the processor and you will not get warranty and even bad luck if it will not return so here you can see how it looks like do not try experiment anything with this processor or any processor just take out from your box and install in your motherboard then lock the top of the motherboard then do anything so after locking in your motherboard try install any heatsink if you want to apply any other external heatsink as this is a new processor so it comes with pre-installed heatsink i do not require to install any other heatsink so after installing the processor remove the two black sockets or holder which is old kind of processor you have to mount so after that removing the two black socket you have to install the cooler which is came with the amd and if you have any other cooler like liquid cooling or any third party cooler you can install it will help you overclocking but as of now i'm not going to overclock anything i am just going with default processor base clock at 3.7 gigahertz four clock eight thread so here you can see i have installed everything and how it looks like after you basically install over any motherboard if you want to know or see the pc build video and how it performs you can definitely check my future videos for that you have to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon but as of now i am going to give you a quick overview how the processor works and here you can see i have tested with two hours of magic stress test from aida and after two hours of usage normal uses it is around 40 degrees centigrade and heavy uses after two hours it is still around 68 and 70 degrees centigrade i can say yeah it is a very good thing you can use it passively heavy uses on your default setting so that's pretty much in this video if you want to get more feasible videos and pc related videos do subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon if you have any question and query do not hesitate to ask me in the comment section i will definitely help thanks a lot for watching this video i'm going to see you in my next video very very soon till then goodbye take care and stay subscribed to some tips thank you